grateful because you want us to have a glorious marriage. You want us to have a beautiful marriage. You want us to have a marriage of God that we have on earth. And Lord, it's our, our end of the prayer this morning that we present the issues in our own to you. You will come to our rescue in Jesus' name. Thank Amen. You, Amen. Mighty name of pray. Amen. 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 Good morning, sirs. Good morning, man. So sorry that I'm connecting a little bit late. I want to give Amen. thanks to God this morning for the glorious privilege God has given to us to be alive. I want to honor him and exalt his holy name. <laughs> Thank you for this Thank you for everything you put in into us. Thank you because without you, we cannot be happy you for us to thank you. Thank you for all the glory. Thank you very much. Let's praise Let's praise God. Thank you for all the glory. Let's praise God. Thank you for all the glory. Let's worship him. Let's praise him. Let's lift this man higher. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Want Amen. to thank him again and honor him, despite the situation of the world, not just peculiar to Nigeria, wherever you are connecting from, you can tell that there have been serious instability in the world everywhere, but God has been most faithful, keeping you and your family. There have been a lot of uh, issues, frustration, people uh, almost taking their lives, people getting frustrated, uh, marriages in this area and all of that. And as a result, you find people going into suicide, going into frustration, and all sorts of things. But in the midst of all of these unpalatable experiences all over the world, even in the developed world, they are not spared out of these calamities and all of the challenges of life. They want to thank God for his mercy over us that the grace, despite the storms, despite the challenges, the grace of God and his mercy had not left us. The mercies of the Lord had not left us. The grace of God had not left us. The goodness of God had not left us. And we need to express a profound gratitude. There are things that would have swallowed us. No wonder the psalmist say that if it had not been the Lord who had been on our side. Do you know what that means? The psalmist was saying that why not God that was on his side? The enemy would have dealt mercilessly with him. The devil would have crushed him, buried him, and totally destroyed his life. I think you can say the same thing too, that why not the Lord God who had been on our side? Why not Lord God who had been on our side? <laughs> what would have become of us? What would have become of us? Personally, myself, why not God in my life? Why not his mercy and his goodness? I, I believe by now I would have been killed. I would have died. But his mercy has not left us. I want to express uh, a glorious uh, express our uh, uh, thanks unto him and worshiping the beauty of holiness. Shall we open our mouth and give thanks to him? Uh, Father and our God, we worship. We bless you, we bless your name for the privilege given not to us to be among the living, to be among those that are up and doing. Some people are alive, but yet are almost as in for death to take them. But Lord, you have been so faithful to us. Like the psalmist says, if not for you, O Lord, all the being of us, God will worship and bless your name. Father God will worship and reference your name. We say glory, honor, adoration, thanks be unto your name, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Now, we want to seriously pray, very seriously. The time I have is quite limited, uh, and we will be using it very seriously to pray. 
uh, we some people still think that Monday prayer is just for the moon. No, we have said that it just is for the family, husband and wife. And for those who are not married, who are connecting, know that uh, whatever prayer we raise, you are going to be married, no matter or whatever the age, you will be married. And even mm -hmm. if you have a particular age and they are saying, come on, no, but no man is coming, no woman is coming, that is not true. Mm -hmm. You will marry, you will settle yeah. down. And so the Monday prayer is not just uh, for men. It's basically for home. It's yeah. basically for our children. It's basically for husband and wife. It's basically to just have an ideal home, the kind of home that God really wants us to have. Uh, that's the kind of home um, uh, the, the, we pray about on Monday. And there are many people that do not know that uh, prayer for the family, for the home, is as important as anything. And that's why this morning we want to be so sincere before God. Come before in Hebrew chapter 4, in verse 16, Hebrew chapter 4, verse 15. But let me take it from verse 15 and 16. For we have not a night place which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmity. Now, what this place is saying is that our, our high priest, Jesus, actually, Jesus referring to Christ, our high priest, he has feelings. And if you are going to anything in your family, Jesus has feeling. He's feeling it. And then don't ever think that you have been abandoned by God or God has left you to suffer all alone. And there is not seeing all you are going through. Have you seen where some believers are complaining? They are not praying, though. It's complaining. They will be saying, God, God, where are you? God, are you seeing all these things I'm going through? That's not prayer. That's complaint. You can't call that a prayer. And uh, you cannot engage God in all of those things and uh, become emotional, make God to become emotional. God does not operate on emotionalism. God operates on faith. God operates on placing your trust on him and putting your confidence and absolute dependence on him, not emotionalism. And so you find people who think God is a man, and then they begin to do some kind of uh, gymnastic, and they begin to display something, complain here and there, and they're thinking that is prayer. That is not prayer. God thinks about us, and he cares about us, and he has feelings about what we are going through. And so in verse 16, he now says that we should come boldly to the throne of grace. Having understood that verse 15, that we have an eye pray that has feeling. We have an eye pray that care. Because of that understanding of verse 15, because of what we have actually understood about that verse 15, that we have an eye pray that have feeling. Therefore, therefore, dear me, as a result of verse 15, upon the consequence of verse 15, as a result, as a result of what had happened in verse 15, therefore now come boldly. I believe you have understood verse 15. Now come boldly to me, to the throne of God, and obtain mercy, and find grace to help in time of need. And we are in a very serious time of need. And those of us in Nigeria here, yeah, we can tell that we're in a very serious time of need. Our pastor and leaders in Nigeria can tell the situation befalling us here and the situation that are confronting us here in Nigeria, even the economy itself, is quite frustrating for many families and it's causing a lot of pain and agony for many homes. That alone can scatter family in many places. I, I saw it uh, before we go into the prayer now. I saw a video yesterday and they posted it in one of the young couple uh, platform. And when they when they posted that uh, the, the video, in that video, well, it may be real, it may not be real, but I don't think that will be real because if that is real, that woman is highly rational. That woman is highly unreasonable. That woman is highly sensitive. Now, this was what happened. The woman, uh, elder brother, was having eight children, and then the woman brought the brought the eight children to her husband's. Uh, in fact, as a matter of fact. The husband just confronted her like, ah, that, that, what is the noise outside there? That he says, hearing noise and all that. That was when the wife now said, eh, there is a brother, the brother is coming and the children, eight children, that they are coming to spend uh, uh, three weeks holiday with them. Uh -uh. 
the husband was shocked. When did we discuss? <laughs> when did we discuss all this and all that? Eight children. Uh, the problem is not even the eight children. The problem is not even uh, whether they are coming to spend holiday. But we didn't discuss this. We didn't discuss it. And the woman was talking. Uh -uh. Must I tell? The woman was not asking the husband. Must I tell you? I mean, this is my brother. Eh? Hey. <laughs> I tell you? Tell you, this is my brother. Uh, uh, my brother is there. And then the man now walked in when he saw that uh, the man, that the brother-in-law now, he walked in, the other brother walked in. I was not telling the husband, I uh, should come down now. He said, man, now uh, we are together now. It's just for three weeks. Okay, at a point, the man has said, okay, me, I will go. Let my eight, the eight children stay. Uh, me, I will leave. I will go. I know that. <laughs> the man was just frustrated because what will he even say now? You people are already here. So at the end of the day, it's okay. They will stay for two. The woman never apologized, never. She was like, this is my family. This is my family. That alone for, see, those are some of the things that scatter and destroy home. Insensitive. Many are insensitive. Many does not know what we call honor. Honor. And then when I was to answer that question, because the person that asked me a question, the person that said, look at this kind of situation that how will this kind of thing be handled? I quickly cut in and I said, okay, that look at what happened to me just yesterday evening. I gave them an ex example. That one of my boys was coming to my house to pass the night. That I was even the one, he was not the one that said he wants to pass the night. He came to see me. So I felt he's my social media manager. He should come to my house and pass the night. We may have something doing the night. And then I had to call my wife on the road first. Because I had to call. This one is not head of the family. I'm the head of, uh, yes, I know head of family. I understand all those things. But I had to call her. That social person is coming with me and it will pass the night and all that. Even if I have not called her, if the boy had come, my wife will still allow him normally by the grace of God. But the truth is that respect and honor is important in the home. And it should be given to whether the woman or the man. And when I called her, at least she answered me and all that. So, and we came together and the boy was attended to. That is the issue. But you find many of a lot of disarray, disrespect, disregard, no regard for husband, no regard for wife, and a lot. And in a Christian home, you find the man taking the woman for granted. Oh, you cannot divorce me. I cannot divorce you. And because uh, you cannot divorce me, I cannot divorce you, you see a lot of misbehavior in the supposed holiness church or supposed Christian home. And we find a lot of oh, not enjoying their marriage. And a lot of this, that's why we are coming this morning. And my aunt is, because the ideal home that God wants, we don't find it in many homes. We don't find it. And people will come to church and you think they are genuine, genuine with God. They don't have it. It's not there because when you get to their home, you will weep, you will shed tears. The man is in pain, the woman is in pain. They are not enjoying themselves. If you confront the woman and say, how are you doing? I hope you are enjoying. And he said, uh, Bob, Bob, we're praying for me. Uh, Bob, we're praying for, uh, what are we praying for you about? And then you begin to hear when they vomit out. We want to go before the Lord this morning and we want to cry to God. Each home, you know exactly what you are going through and you know what you are going through. But this morning, to be very sincere. Father, we come before your King of mercy. the Lord now to examine us. We wish them to the the king will come before your throne of mercy, O oh Lord. Father, we come before your throne of mercy, O oh Lord. My Lord, give us the grace to live peacefully with our partners. The wisdom to live aright. I come before the God will be the head of our homes. Father, I pray God unto us, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Lord, we know that the enemy is not happy. Our homes are like heaven on earth. 
and by that time to bring in things that will cause problems with that God. But the Father that God wisdom to lead a right Amen. My family, Lord, take it away in Jesus' name. Second prayer point. I want to go before God. Where we've taken our wives and our husbands for granted, and we are insensitive to their needs, insensitive to their question, insensitive to their desire. Do you know? We're not, um, sometimes when I hear people comparing home, I just know, well, these people don't understand the Bible. They don't know that I am not to use someone else's formula to run my home. And then many times I make people realize my home is not run by Nollywood and Bollywood and all those wood, wood things. My home should be run by scripture. My own should be run by God's word. The word of God should guide put for my home. And then if that is true, then there is what we call an ideal man, an ideal home, an ideal home. That's the goal. That's where the people now say your heaven shall your uh, your marriage or your home shall be heaven on earth. Until that apple were not there yet. I cannot say that the, the, the home now will not be heaven on earth in a literal way, in the in the purest form. I want to go before God now to Yanko to take away every particle, whatever in us, in all that had made us in one way or the other, wounded, injured our spouse in any way. In any, you may say, No, I have not done that. Mm -mm. Uh, you know what I did? I did something this year. And uh, this is a marriage, and we are very, we are very, see, anything I'm saying here, or whatever I'm telling people, uh, that's why I'm very, very clear with what I say. I'm not just talking what I don't do. You know, I did something this year. I told my wife, I said she should write five things that she does not like, uh, she does not like about me. That's five things. She writes it in a paper. She should not tell me. She'll just write, like you are writing. she take her time to write, and then she should write five things she likes about me. I did that on purpose. That was early this year, so that I will know how this year will go and all of that. And then I didn't even bother to write about her own. No, I don't. I wanted to, but there was no need. Let her just tell me about my own. Then me, I will see how I can adjust and all of that. And then find, because I can't say, because I'm a pastor, uh, uh, she, I'm pleasing in every area. Mm -mm, I cannot make that assumption. Because it is possible you are injuring person, but because the person is a genuine, she doesn't want to hurt you, and she may not even tell you. And then you have to so be free to the point that the person can tell you exactly where you are not doing things well. So she now wrote out a lot of things like about me. She wrote it down in a paper. She wrote, I read. And then she now wrote the five too. Okay? <laughs> and then some of those things were just for my good. And she was right. Everything she wrote, she was right. Not about sin or not about sin or whatever. Just some carelessness and all of that. <laughs> and uh, one of the things she wrote was very funny. Uh, for example, I should, <laughs> I should be cleaning my shoe well before I go out and, <laughs> and all of that. So, and then she mentioned on some of those things she does not like. Sometimes we need to do those things. We want to go before God and tell the Lord, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, where we have hurt our wives or our husband, that the Lord will show us mercy. The Lord will forgive us where we have taken them for granted, where we have not actually attended to them as expected. Have you found some pastors or leaders who attend to people outside of them and they have enjoying this? Home is not enjoying them. They give more attention to people out than to righteousness. They think that they ministry that they to outside and inside that. No, not right. Charity. Body of humanity. In the name of Jesus. Oh my God. Mercy, my Father God, let your mercy be upon us, O God of heaven, in the mighty name of Jesus. Help us so there are no mistakes. Everything is good, great, 
Almighty on God, 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 Amen. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 Look at that verse I read, verse 16. It said, we should come to that throne of grace. And there are people that they are not really enjoying. Things are not in order. We want to raise our voices before avoiding pastors and leaders whose home are on fire, whose home are not in order, who are not enjoying their union. And they, I'd like you to know that if the marriage is in serious disarray, it has a way of affecting other aspects of life. And that's what led to some people developing uh, high blood pressure. That's what led to some people having stroke. A, a lot of things are associated with a broken home, a home that is in disarray, a lot of other sicknesses are associated with it. And one there's high blood pressure, if you're not careful and it's not properly managed, other things begin to try to set in. And then before you know you, the person begins to fight multiple challenges. And then if care is not taken, you hear the person has died. Now, this is why we want to understand this and cry before God as many homes that are in disarray, going through a lot of turbulent moments, husband and wife not seeing eye to eye, husband and wife having issue, real issue, and then there's no intimacy, nothing whatsoever, no planning together, no prayer together, nothing. They are just there like colleague. They are just there like colleague at work, in office, and all that. May the blood of Jesus, may the power of Jesus, may the grace of Jesus, May the power of the Spirit of God ever we come before your throne of mercy. We believe in the name of we come to every family that are not enjoying the man but enduring. Some are questioning, oh, why am I into this thing? God, God, we pray this morning for such people. Oh, Lord, in every way, Father, we know their love. For that in the so that they have that marriage, not enjoy, Lord, the Jesus' name. Lord God, we will be in our beloved as much as we fought to do nothing. Whatever you can do, we have done this family. That is one who will pray. You need to affect me. Lord, on the side of the side of the side of the my father, therefore, oh God, by your grace, to separate one another, my father, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name Amen. 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 Now, there's a critical issue we want to pray about on economy. I'd like you to know this carefully, that some of the children on campus, I mean, these young people, who becomes extremely wayward and extremely immoral and licentious. Uh, it was a particular need that led to it. And the need became so terrible, so terrible. Just yesterday, I was told of a, this is my boy that came to the house, was telling me of, of a student, uh, because he's a student in Fupui, final year, and then uh, he was not telling me of another boy who was a deeper life boy. The boy had died anyway, but the boy mm. was up 11 Bitcoin. And then mm. my wife was here, and then I was telling my wife, because, uh, 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 okay, the boy told me at work, and then I was telling my wife that imagine somebody was having 11 Bitcoin. And one Bitcoin is, as I said this morning, is about six, uh, 69,000 plus. As I yesterday was almost reaching uh, 70,000 and all that. Now, and $69,000 uh, is um, in, with the rate of today. Let me just bring it down. So let's just leave it at 85 million. Okay, 85 million naira. So the boy was close to almost 1 billion. A boy that had not graduated. He has built out, he had married. So as he graduated, 
I think from what my boy told me, he died. Now, mm. but the point is, you cannot even assess that uh, Bitcoin because uh, if you know about cryptocurrency, there are some things that if you don't tell your spouse or your your people close to you that these are your secret password and all of that, even if anything happened to you, that OT lot, the money is gone, the asset is gone forever, forever. No human being can assess it in this life. In fact, the owner of those things cannot assess. It's gone. It's not like your normal bank where somebody will not get the money and be using. Mm -mm. This one, nobody is forever gone. It will just be there forever. And now that young man is gone. But I was told that that young man was a Yahoo boy. Now, how can a child in deeper life? And then you find a lot, you find them all around and all of that. Then you will not realize that some of them became highly frustrated, extremely frustrated. So I met one. As soon as he told me that he had left the parent, I just know that he's, he's already pressing. He's pressing. And as I, I, just, I just confronted him straight with that. And he agreed. I said, I've bought, I'm using that to help my mother. A, a, a child grew up in deeper life. He was like, I'm using that to help my mom. He was, he, uh, uh, he had bought two days. He had, he was young boy, young boy. And, and truly, and I know the home. I know things were not really and all that. So some of them after that terrible frustration. And then they will look left, look right. Wait, I can't die like this. And with the peer pressure on them, they begin to go after men on campus. They begin to go into terrible. And some of them will swear and say, if I don't make money in this one life, where I come, make her die. And they begin to say all kinds of things. We want to wait right now. In the name of God, our lack of funds. You see, you, you see, you, why am I leading this prayer? I'm leading this prayer because I want us to pray. I do not want the situation in our home to frustrate our own children. I, I, we, do, we are giving God reason, you know. Uh, you know, it's God himself that said we should give him reason, right? It's God that mm -hmm. said we should give our call. Uh -huh. And we know that the Gen Z don't have enduring spirit like our days. Gen Z mm -hmm. don't have this generation. No, they don't. They don't. Whether in the church or outside the church, they don't. All this one you preach, uh, please, let's persevere, let's endure, uh, God understand. They don't even understand. With all the point three, the three points in our message they hear, they do, as soon as they go out, they see their friend on TikTok, uh, this 17 years old boy is a millionaire. Oh, this 19 year is almost billionaire. Uh, as they read all those things, those things are to they impact them the more than even sometimes what they hear in the church. And we want to cry to God in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, God of heaven, we, 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 we come before your throne of mercy, Lord. 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 Lord, we commit the economy of our nation to your hand. Father, you have blessed this nation. Intervene, God of heaven, in the financial matters in my family. Oh, oh Lord, be God, this so that the bless you much. That everybody way. should live Lord, better. My children, we want to make them to begin to live. For them, the greedy leaders have destroyed our economy. Lord, Lord, we pray. This our economy, O Lord. This our economy, O Lord. Touch the heart of our men and women in position of power. Jesus, please power. Authority upon our situation of our economy. In the name of Jesus, O Lord, turn around the situation of our economy, Lord. Turn around the situation of our economy, Lord. Turn around the situation of our economy, O Lord. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, this is a new within us. This is a new within us. Help us, oh Lord, to will not be wayward. They will not be wayward, oh God. Stop back our name of Jesus Christ. Our children will not delay into all this Yahoo and other sorts of criminality, oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Power in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Amen.
Pastor Shagun already have a daughter in university, and so things like that. And then some of us, I don't know everybody on the platform. I don't know your, I mean, start, but I believe there are some of the people I don't know that have grown up children already who are up to the age of marriage. Your children will not marry Opeke. There are too many Amen. Opeke. Amen. Opeke, I mean an irrational woman, uh, people, irrational, Amen. irrational people. And they are in church and outside church. I'm sorry to say they are in deeper life too. So I'm not just talking of sinners. Both deeper lie anywhere, but they will not marry rational human beings. Amen. Because uh, so many are coming in to marry with a wrong mindset. Your daughter will not marry wrong. Your son Amen. will. Amen. Amen. See, Amen. one of the things that can frustrate, extremely frustrate even you as a father in law is when your son or your daughter marry wrong because it can almost cause premature death. We want to cry and it is now we begin to pray. We are not waiting until they are ready. We are not waiting until they want to say it. It is now we use prayer. That's why we come on Monday. Monday is a... Many have not understood this Monday prayer yet. That's why we are praying that. If my own children are still very small, but yet I still have to be saying something. Yeah, was it yesterday I was visualizing? It, it was even funny what I was doing. Whether it was a thought, it didn't just run through me. I don't know what I was doing. Whether it was yesterday or two days ago, my mind just went through. And I was doing calculation in my head. What was I doing? It was funny. I was doing calculation that, okay, as so-so time, welfare on me will be 23. Okay, I will be so-so age. Okay, she should have. And I was not talking, though. I was not talking. In my mind, though, everything was, somebody that would see my hands, kill a I was just, okay, at 23, 22, you should get married, blah, blah, blah. You should have finished school. And uh, okay, I should have been so-so age and all that and all that and all that. And, they, and I even saw the need. And I, and I really saw the need why children even have to marry early. And I saw the need why children have to marry early. We want to cry to God in the name of Jesus Christ. Our oh, children. oh, that's a prayer. They will not miss it. Amen. 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 I pray for my children, oh, my, my son, and my daughter. Father, I pray they will not marry wrong in Jesus' name. I I'm enjoying my marriage today because I'm married in the Lord and I'm married my own bull, my bull. Oh, Lord God, in the Lord, I pray when these children are ready to marry. Father, give them their bone of their bones and their feet. That bless the oh Lord to marry Lord in Jesus' name. Help them to marry Lord. Father God, help them to marry Lord. They will not marry other people's partners. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, help them to marry their own partners who have created for them. Because we are going to work for every man and a husband for every woman. Oh Lord, for so now we pray that you will lead them. Amen. Amen. Please, Pastor Peter, please help us round up this session. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Uh, Father and our God, we come before your throne of mercy once again this morning. We we'll thank you, first of all, for this gift of sleeping and waking up. We adore your name for your servant that you have used this morning to bring us back to the direction of how it should be. And they have shown us that there is plenty of grace for us because, Lord, that was the purpose why you came. The grace to kill into your grace. Father, grant unto us, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Father, we bring every family represented here and those that are, were supposed to be here but unable to be here because of one thing or the other. Oh Lord, we now we bring them before you this morning. We pray that you visit every one of us and meet us at the point of our needs, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Lord, we thank you for our families. I uh, thank you for how you are helping us in the church to get us aright. Because information is the is key. Oh Lord God, you know the grace that this 
uh, rush or weak economy will not send us to the evil path to go and start seeking other evil ways to make money. Amen. I met a young man that said, our fathers are too patient, but we, we are not. We want to make the money anyhow. I was virtually begging this young man, Benjamin, please, don't burn your fingers. He said, Daddy, don't worry. You people are too patient. We will make this money. Oh, Lord God, you know the grace that these children will not burn their fingers because some of them genuinely try to help their parents. Some of them say the needs are home. The way they live at home, and said, No, I will do anything to liberate my family. And by that, they have perished in hell. Like a young man in my village, he called the father and said, Daddy, we've never had a good life. And I'll see an opportunity to join a court. And that court will be able, I'll be able to liberate the family. But a time is coming when one, when I will be uh, demanded to die. But daddy, will you take that bullet for me? And daddy said, go ahead. When that time comes, I will take the bullet. And this young man went ahead. He became so rich. He liberated the family as he promised. He took a lot of his people to France to Spain, settle them down, give them accommodation, buy them houses, give them good works. But that time came when he was supposed to die. And he came back to his father. And he said, Dad, the time has come. And Daddy looked at him and said, my son, I'm sorry. Though I promised you then, I will not be able to do it again. Ew. Because now the family is liberated. Other children I have money. Ew. I have other children that will bury me when I finally die. Mm. You took that decision, you go and die. Mm. This ah. young man died at the age of 42 years. Mm. And the father is still alive to today. Oh Lord, the never will come before you. We pray that you fix our lands, fix Amen. our economy, Amen. make things juicy again. So Amen. that everyone will be comfortable and children will not go out of their way trying to help where there is no help. Mm. Oh Lord, help our leaders to Amen. think aright, to act aright. The Amen. spirit of stealing, demon that come into them, that they steal money they do not need. Take it away from them, oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Father, we commit the church, O oh Lord, into your hands. Lord, we pray that you open the economy of heaven for your church so that in the midst of hardship, we will not test it. Rather, we will live under your economy and we enjoy under your economy, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we Amen. pray for our children that are of age, that are not yet married, that are looking for their partners to marry. We pray, O oh Lord, that you open their eyes and you lead them aright so that they will marry their own partners that you have created for them, the bone of their bones and the flesh of their flesh. They will meet each other and get married so that they will enjoy their marriages, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we pray that our children will not marry other people's partners. They will Amen. not marry their enemies. Amen. They will marry their own husbands and they will marry their own wives. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh Lord, Amen. we commit anyone among us that is having any special need, crying unto you every morning and every night, saying, Lord, when are you going to hear me this morning? We pray. In the name of Jesus, Father, answer them speedily this morning, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen.
that our brother Pastor Ali talked about that is having a swollen leg, a unity of faith with me and my brethren. We lift him all before your throne of mercy. O oh Lord, touch that leg, heal Amen. that leg, and Amen. deliver him, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. O oh Lord, it's a new working day, the first working day for this week. Father, we pray that your presence will go with us throughout this week. Amen. You keep us from all evil. Amen. You will guide us, O oh Lord, provide for us, protect us in all sides, in Jesus' name. Amen. We worship and bless our name because you know you've answered us. Thank Glory, you. honor, and the of thanksgiving be unto your name, O oh Lord. Thank In you, Lord. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Um, Hallelujah. We want to appreciate our leader, Pastor Yomi. Almighty God, we continue to enrich you in Jesus' name. We Amen. want to especially appreciate our mother that has been online. Um, keep praying, inviting the Spirit to come down. I pray that Almighty God will, not, will never forget you in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, we will not forget the word in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I welcome Mr. Augustine, ACA. If I'm not mistaken, he is a um, fellow at the content. God will continue to bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. I Amen. want to that day will wash and then that the Peter Almighty God will continue to enrich you in Jesus' name. By the power of the blood of your Amen. head will not be seen in Jesus' name. Amen. You are, are planting the life of many of us. Um the show of this is that you see us in the kingdom of God. We see you in kingdom of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I want to thank everyone to keep praying for me. They say we will come do more by uh, all this prayer we record, they will put them in YouTube. I've been doing that, uh, but because it's a lot of things in my hand, uh, um, a short of time to do it. That God will help us. And if there is anybody that can be saying it was online, just post it to me. I will post it where it's supposed to be here. And God will continue to help us in Jesus' name. Uh, I will be putting two, one or two things because our time has gone. It's two or two. Although we are midnight here, you know you're already in the morning there. Let's continue to face for first love. That every one, every marriage, they will not forget first love. Uh, there will always be something, even if not beauty, if not money, if not because the person is fat, if not because the person is fair, if not because the person is slender, if not because the person has academic, there's one thing that brings you to marry together because nobody forces you. You may say because of Jesus Christ, that's your own first love. It may be because of money, it may be that's your first love. It may be one thing or the other, it may be your first love. Immediately that first love is forget. No wonder John keep mentioning it. Do not forget your first love. We are the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. All our marriage, we will not forget the first love in Jesus' name. Yeah. Uh, the challenge is to be there. Uh, in, they let us know that when children, uh, when fathers suffer, the children will not suffer in that way. Uh, we, they, you can see the generation to generation, it's becoming better. So no matter what we are passing through, know that you are passing through of it because of your children. And you, you are doing it because you don't want to miss everyone. There's a lot of way you have you who have gone that will have, you will have forget God and face that way. But by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, God will take us home in Jesus' name. Amen. By the power and the blood, you will not be wayward in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I must say that I want to employ uh, employ. Uh, appeal to everyone for us to let us continue to bring the pro program to the challenge of many people. Uh, as, as I always say, I, I don't care. Me, I say I don't care if anybody should not bother about the number. I think we are nine, if I'm not mistaken, or something like that. Uh, yes, that, sir, one, that, one, uh, that one is is good because those people who are praying, they are not many. Go and see the prayer warriors. Go and see those people who are praying for the pastors. 
to go and see the people who are, you know, it's very easy to uh, to follow Jesus. Only a few people see Jesus. So for you to be praying, that's when you are seeing Jesus, you are communicating with Jesus. So if you, if you count ourselves all day, and then we know a lot of things we are, we are covering each individually. Uh, for the past experience of saying, prayer works. Prayer works. Uh, you have seen whereby they take your name to the name of the all these juju people, and the juju people was asking them, who is this? It's supposed to have died. So God will continue to help everyone of us in Jesus' name. And then Amen. we are doing a very good job. We are doing a very good job. Please do not relent. Do not relent. And only, I want you to know that. Always ask yourself, if I'm not there, who are going to do it? If I'm not there, who I'm going to do it? Immediately you have that one in, in, in your mind, you will not miss it. So let's continue to tell other people and the joy that the Lord will continue to be our, our strength in Jesus' name. By the grace mm-hmm. of the Lord, we shall close the, uh, for the uh, for Charlotte we pray, whereby Pastor Ali lead. Uh, uh, before then, continue to enjoy our YouTube program. I think we are uh, broadcasting GS message on this message now, uh, which we will still continue after this prayer. Almighty God will continue to help us in Charlotte. The grace of the Lord will continue to help us in Charlotte in Jesus' name. And all the things that we must earn by the power and the blood of Jesus, they will not die untimely in Jesus' name. If we do this work, then we will take care. We will give it to our children to do in Jesus' name. By the power and the blood of Jesus, our generation will not lack somebody to stand before Almighty God in the name of Jesus Christ. And the joy of the Lord will to be our strength. Let's share the grace together. Sorry, sorry, sir. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Uh, sorry, I was unable to come on air yesterday uh, because I already saw the sign that because we didn't have light, so I couldn't charge. So oh. my phone was almost about 4% at the time. That was why I was calling you. So that oh. I was calling all our brethren who can assist. So eventually, I was able to get Pastor Ali. So, okay. who, so that was why I couldn't come on air. Because it as was approaching that time, my phone just went off completely. So there was no way I could join. Sorry, uh, sorry about uh, No, I know. I, I, saw, I think I saw the call later. That one is even... God will continue mm-hmm. to bless in the name of Jesus Christ. We will not do mm-hmm. anything. And we, we, because of that, for one minute, we pray for Pastor Shagun. That by the power and the blood of Jesus, Christ, Almighty God is going to establish him in Jesus' name. Let's open our mouth. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. That by the power and the blood of Jesus, Christ, the peace of mind, everything he named, that by the power and the blood of Jesus, Christ, Almighty God is going to establish him. King of kings is going to establish him. That by the power and the blood of Jesus, Christ, Almighty God is going to establish him. By the power and the blood of Jesus, Christ, Almighty God is going to establish him. By the power and the blood of Jesus, Christ, Almighty God is going to establish him. Really <laughs> God will open his eyes. God will open his eyes. God will his eyes. God will open his eyes. God will open his eyes. God will all instability, all ways, God is going to stop in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. My child, my son, this is what I want you to do. I pray by the power and the blood, God will do it for him in the name of Jesus. And the judge of God shall be our the testimony in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I quickly want to, uh, yes, anyone that is going, please, we release you. I know it's a time uh, in Nigeria, but I really want even one minute again to pray for Pastor uh, Shegon. I remember uh, during my, when the 